went in for one or two things and a hundred dollars later here we are and no i wasn't at target here's what i've got you guys i went to aldi and the dollar tree so let me just go through what i got went in there trying to just go for like a quick minute before a chiropractor appointment and then of course ended up getting all this stuff but it is not a waste obviously i don't spend money frivolously but i got a lot of stuff to stock our pantry and some random things that i've just been needing to get so let's start way back here usually we start with meat dairy produce vegetables and then processed stuff and non-grocery items at the end so it's kind of how i set it up let's get into it so um i got some red grapes we are out of fresh fruit except for a couple apples for the lunches of the kids and such so i got grapes and a pineapple here and i feel like oh yeah i got some strawberries down here and uh when i go to costco i will be getting a bunch more produce that will last a couple weeks and then we kind of do a fill-in haul like this for some fresh stuff so that's the fruit and then I've also got sour cream for a recipe and some cottage cheese for a recipe and I haven't had those in a while. I also got this French onion dip for a recipe for pork chops. So um, that should be yummy. And then I got some whole milk Greek yogurt. I use this as, well, yogurt, but also as a starter for when I make my own homemade yogurt in the Instant Pot, which I just did last night, so that's still out on the counter. Um, but I use it as a starter, so I just get the plain, and then I make my own with a half gallon, and it's much cheaper that way. So we got some cheese. We got this provolone sliced cheese. We don't really have sliced cheese, and I'm making some wraps for lunch today. Um, we usually get our cheese in bulk and then shred it or cube it. So um, when you slice it, it doesn't really, like, hold up well in the freezer and we always end up freezing a lot of our cheese and using later so there's that and then i got this extra sharp cheddar because i was really craving extra sharp cheddar and i like to cube it up as a snack and it's really easy to pop into your mouth at work when you know it's super busy and you just need a little snack so i haven't really been snacking though to tell you the truth because i've been intermittent fasting so also probably why i got a lot here because i am hungry don't go shopping when you're hungry. I think that's rule number one, and I totally broke that rule. So uh, I got this salami for snacking and for Brandon to have, um, and the kids for lunches, so that'll be good. Then I got these two cilantros for, um, I'm gonna make some coleslaw today. I have a purple cabbage in the fridge, and fresh cilantro is just so good. And then I got one of these um, lettuce, romaine no it's kind of like a green leaf lettuce uh for the wraps that i'm gonna make because the other stuff i have is all chopped up which i could use but that's better for salads i like to do the whole thing in the wrap i got these salsas for um our pantry i just took our last one out and i usually like to keep a couple on hand and so i got two salsas one for the pantry and one for the backup pantry I know, it's a little excessive, huh? Uh, and then I got these bell peppers because, uh, sorry, banana peppers, because I've been craving them. And they are so good with um, Mississippi chicken in the crock pot um, with some ranch and gravy and butter. And mm, I love it. And then I got this salsa con queso. And the value you get from these things at Aldi is just is so much better than, you know, Publix or even Walmart and stuff like that. So I like to really try to go stock up there. I got this can of chili beans for obvious reasons chili but actually we're gonna make chili dogs i think one day soon so i got this okay can wise i got a couple of mandarin oranges for the pantry and then some peach slices in pear juice sorry oh my gosh i cannot talk today this is pear slices in pear juice i like to try to get them in juice and i had to dig around because they had them in heavy syrup but um, i like to use it in pear juice so i got those okay now i got these two things because they are not from concentrate so this is a gold fusion so it's green and red apples oranges and carrots um, but this is for kefir so when we sweeten our kefir after it's fermented a couple of days um, i use either fresh fruit um, which i feel like does the best but then if i don't have any um, it's easy just to throw in like a quarter cup or so of this kind of juice and then it sweetens it and then it sits out another day and then we put it in the fridge and it's just like so yummy 
It's a little carbonated, which I like, and gives you a little probiotic. So um, that's why I got those two things, because they are not from Concentrate. So this antioxidant power one is pomegranate, tart cherry, red grape, purple carrot, cranberry, and blueberry. So that'll be good. Oh, and I've got a cantaloupe, which I forgot. So this also, I think, needs to ripen. Um, so that's gonna sit on the counter. All right, so snack-wise, we got some ranch-flavored tortillas, because like I said, I was hungry, and these bold and zesty pretzels, which are so yummy. If you've never tried them, definitely get them. So I got two of those for um, backup. I got this uh, one pound of pretzels, uh, mini twists and sticks for the kids for lunches, um, because these are, <laughs> not sweetened and I'm trying to give them less and less sweetened things. Believe me, they get sweetened stuff a lot, so they are not deprived at all. But the more we can introduce things that are not sugary, the better I feel like. So these have less than one gram of sugar per serving. So good idea there. Um, okay, I saw these. I've never gotten these. If any of you have ever tried this, please leave a comment, but it's sparkling flavored water, which, you know, we love, um, but this is coffee and vanilla flavored. So I have no idea how this is going to taste. It could be terrible, but I kind of splurged on it, uh, so that I could try it and I will report back. Um, I got the, this basmati rice, which is very unlike me to get a prepackaged thing like this. But the reason I got this and these six tuna, uh, little pouches, which is definitely like pricier than like a can. Um, but I got these because I leave a couple of, um, items in my backpack for work. And like, if I need something quick or I didn't pack enough to eat or like the other day when I had to go in unexpectedly and ended up staying the entire day because the whole system was down. <sighs> That's for another day story. Um, I thankfully had brought like a lettuce um, salad, but it didn't have any protein, didn't have any carbs, like it just was like lettuce. So thankfully I had one of these left over in my um, bag, so I paired that with it and I had like a cookie that was there. So I just needed some extra things to have that are easy, like I don't need to heat this up, I don't need to like do anything, I literally rip it open and I can eat it with a fork or spoon, I can throw hot sauce in it if I want because we always keep that at work with like some vinegars and sriracha and soy sauce. Like we keep some of the condiments there cause you know, we're cool people like that. And we all use it. And so that's why I got these. So I got two sweet and spicy, a zesty lemon pepper and original. So I got six total. I'll keep a couple in my bag. And so I can combine those with the rice and some like sauce or whatever that we have already at work. Um, and that will be quick, like protein carbs, uh, not sugary things that I'm snacking on if I'm starving and like I'm still at work for some reason. So um, got those, got this uh, K-cup uh, pack for work also. So this is just a dark roast. Um, so I just like to keep them there to have whenever I want coffee because we have a little Keurig. Um, I got this 85% dark cocoa for a little snacky snack. Uh, so it has less sugar than the other ones did. So this has three grams. The other ones had like 15 or something like that. So, um, you know, just to have. Got some plates, which is a non-grocery item. This is just gonna go in our pantry stock for emergencies at this point. Um, we haven't been using paper plates. Um, I've been in a rhythm of doing like dishes and stuff and it's been fine. So um, we'll put those in the emergency stock. For the kids' lunches, we also got this um, cheese dip and cracker sticks. So something non-sugary, something a little different, you know. Um, got these graham crackers, cinnamon, and um, honey, like regular. And surprisingly, they have the same amount of sugar. So this is 8 grams, and this is also 8 grams. So kind of like, well, why not just get two different flavors? So got those. Got this, um, which we don't typically use, but sometimes we spray it on popcorn. Um, sometimes we just use it for random other things. So it's nice to just have one can, but we go through one every like several months. So I got that. Um, at Aldi I found these shoes, which I thought was a really cool thing they had. So this is like kind of the next size up for Benjamin. So I'm gonna have him try them on. Hopefully they fit him. They look kind of narrow maybe, but um, they're like memory foam and he could stretch them out. So. 
I'm going to have him try them on. They're two threes, and he's kind of like in a one, but I feel like he's growing out of the one soon. So um, I'll have him try those on. And I found these, which were super cheap at Aldi. Um, and they're little, like, essential oil things. So I did smell this one. Um, but it has eucalyptus, uh, peppermint, lemon, tea tree oils. Um, and then these things I got from the Dollar Tree. So I got this little soap dispenser. It's plastic, um, which is what I wanted for the kitchen because I put, like, hand soap in that green one right there. Um, and the kids, like, pull it forward and, like, use it and stuff when they're washing their hands at the sink. But I don't want them to break anything that's glass. So I just got this because I wanted something different. And I got these little pink thingy mabobs. These are so great um, for storing things, food or otherwise. Like, I just saw a video and they apparently hold a whole deck of cards and they hold a box of crayons. So I may take one of two of those aside. Um, I got aqua and pink um, for toy stuff, but uh, I usually use them to prepack oatmeal packs, which I need to make some more of. You can see there's a whole, like, there's two stacks of those right there for um, just, like, making my own oatmeal packs, and then I just throw those with some, like, milk over it and the microwave for one minute. It's a great, easy breakfast. Um, so I got those, and I got these quick erasers. So I'm going to try these out, and then if these work good, I'm just going to get a whole big pack from, like, Amazon, because I think it's going to be cheaper that way. And um, we have a bunch of areas in our house that need... <laughs> Marker and crayon removed from the walls, and I don't want to wait until, like, we have to move, which we're not planning to move, but, you know, with things these days, if our rent goes up, like, $600 or $1,000, I don't know what we're going to do, and I just don't want to leave everything until, like, the last minute when we are going to need to leave because it's going to be so much work. So I'm trying to get into, like, a rhythm of deep cleaning some areas so it's not, like, crazy, crazy if we had to move, like, with a month's notice. So anyways, I got those, and I got these floss picks and I don't really care that they're charcoal infused but the um, little things look thicker than the thin ones the other ones from the Dollar Tree and um, I might just need to order some online uh, because they actually it matters for the kids teeth and the other ones like seem to get a better job of doing in between their teeth so anyways, I don't know. I might get the Glide or Gum or Oral-B or whatever ones um, if these don't work out very great. Um, but I'll use them if they don't. So that is the haul, you guys. Until we meet again, don't forget, life is better together.